Isn't it amazing how clear and perfect that water is? And the pond aerator is principally to thank for it. What's up everyone? Adam here with Indy Farm Life. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to talk about pond aeration. The cost, the cost to run it, and is it worth it? So obviously there is some pond dye in this water, giving it the blue color, but the clarity is all the result of our aerator and the bacteria in here keeping this water clear. And if you recall, I put this aerator in, I don't know, six months or so ago, built the housing from scratch, and then the pump and lines inside I purchased. So let's pop that off there to show you guys in case you didn't see that previously. The birds love to roost up here. So there's my pond aeration pump. I believe it's a half horsepower. It's been running 24 seven, like I said, for the last six months. And it's been honestly a little workhorse. So I believe that pump was roughly $700 when I purchased it six or so months ago. And let's call 800 in total by the time I built the housing and put the fans and whatnot in there. So $800 to have your water looking like this. And so if any of you out there have a pond and you've had algae blooms on top of it, you know how frustrating those can be. And it just makes your water unsightly and you just feel a little embarrassed by it. And so aeration and bacteria are the way to go. 800 bucks for what's called the setup, but how much does it cost to run monthly or daily? I actually have that number. I have a meter on the line running out to the aerator and it's probably been on there for 45 days maybe. And so we'll go in and see how much electricity it's been using. I can tell you what my cost is and I'll tell you what it is in kilowatt hours so you can do the math yourself. But it shouldn't be a terribly high number given what that pump pulls, but we'll see. So here we are at the north end of the pond and you can see the critters love to come out here and take drinks. Could use a little bit more water, but I couldn't be more pleased with the clarity that we've achieved by having the aerator and that bacteria in here. Aside from the leaves, that's not algae, this water is pristine. I mean, you can easily see two and a half feet, three feet depth, and that's including all the pond dye that's in here. It's amazing. In the dead of the summer months, you saw a ton of fish spawning here on the side, and just kind of hanging out. They've kind of fallen off since the weather's turned a little bit. Perhaps I'll hold off and put any more dye in the water this fall and take the camera and submerge it one day and see what I can't see. At any rate, all those scenic views are simply for me to illustrate that the pond aerator is worth its weight in gold. Now let's go see what it costs to run. That view never gets old. Okay, so here we are in my very messy barn. And here's the meter. I'll turn the backlight on. Hopefully you guys can see some of this. I'll walk you guys through some of the readout here. So that there is the current time. We have used 473.867868 kilowatt hours over the last 1,385 hours and 34 minutes for a total of $52 and almost 60 cents. Not terrible. So if we take that 1385 hours divided by 24 hours in a day, it's about 57.7 days this has been on. And we, if we divide that into the $52 and 60 cents, then it comes out to about 91 cents or a little over a day is what the cost is for me. But for anyone else out there, the key would be to divide the number of kilowatt hours, which is 473.889, into the number of days. So if we do that, it comes out to about 8.21 kilowatt hours a day. Also, I'll link this unit below. It came from Amazon. It's pretty cool. So it'll calculate daily power, monthly power, changes over the period. We'll also show you the voltage you're pulling, current amps, current wattage, max amps, max wattage, hertz. Uh, a pretty cool little unit. So if you want to check the power of a fridge or any other thing up to, I think, 15 or 1800 watts, then you can you know, measure your consumption. I was curious how much this was going to bump our electric bill when I put this in. So that's why I got that. I'll link it below. So if you are planning on this exact setup, 
or a very similar setup, a half horsepower pump, bank on roughly 8.21 kilowatt hours per day. Time the price your electric company charges you per kilowatt hour and you can come up with the cost per day. We benefit from some fairly low energy costs here in Indiana. So in my case, it's a little over 91 cents a day. For just 91 cents a day, you can sponsor 1,600 fish. They will be happy, healthy, well cared for, for only 91 cents a day. That view alone justifies the 91 cents a day. And so if you're on the fence about aeration, don't be. It's the best investment you can make for your pond. And call it a dollar a day, it's money well spent. Your fish will thank you, you will thank yourself, and your pond will be just that much more enjoyable. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and come back and see me sometime. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.